Bahrain International, Amheba Abdul Ghaffar. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday visited the Majlis of the Minister of Cabinet Affairs Muhammad Al Mutawah in the Majlis of Ahmed Mansour Al Ali, the Majlis of the Sons of the Late Hajj Hassan Al Ali and the Majlis of Al Jalahma family. During the Majlis visits, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted that Bahrain's commitment to supporting citizens' aspirations and improving living standards sit at the heart of the Kingdom's comprehensive development program led by His Majesty the King, including efforts to advance tourism, logistics, manufacturing, ICT, financial services and oil and gas sectors. His Royal Highness also highlighted the important role these sectors play in attracting international investment and providing employment opportunities for Bahrainis, adding that the Kingdom continues to prioritize initiatives that improve efficiency. He stressed the importance of simplifying procedures within the logistics sector as a catalyst for growth, given the industry's ability to increase the competitive power of national corporations in today's interconnected global economy. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain's airport expansion project, which will increase the Kingdom's airport capacity by 300%, is only the latest example of the broad range of initiatives and regulatory measures introduced to encourage further growth.
His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa yesterday attended the third edition of the Royal Artillery Football Tournament, which was held under His Highness's patronage. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed presented awards to the winning team, the Royal Shields, and the second place team, the Royal Guards, the championship's best player, and the best goalkeeper. His Highness expressed pleasure for having the opportunity to attend the tournament, which reflects the highest standards of competition, teamwork and sporting excellence. His Highness thanked the Royal Artillery for organizing the third edition of this tournament and praised all participating teams and players for their outstanding sportsmanship. Brigadier Sheikh Khalifa bin Hassan Al Khalifa, commander of the BDF Royal Artillery and other senior BDF officers were present at the event. The Minister of Education, Majid al nuaimi attended the conclusion of the Lanterns of Quran, memorizing competition for intermediate and secondary levels. The competition was organized by the Gifton Students Center. Minister al nuaimi honored the winners and affirmed the ministry's keen interest in encouraging students to participate in local and international contests. He also noted that the ministry organizes annual Quran memorizing competitions. The minister noted the role of the Gifted Students Center in nurturing talented students by releasing recitation recordings by the students as part of the project Read and Rise. He hailed the efforts of the students' families in developing the skills of their children. Under the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to meet the needs of citizens and follow up with the government's efforts led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to implement his work program. The Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yaqub Al Hamar, today announced the Ministry's distribution of Umm Al Hassan housing project to beneficiaries and stated that the Ministry will intensify its efforts in preparing the time schedule for the unit's distribution to ensure the completion of the process in the shortest possible time. 
He noted that all projects under the distribution schedule are part of the housing projects implemented under the government's work program to build 25,000 housing units and stem from the royal directive to build 40,000 housing units ordered by His Majesty the King to applicants from all governorates in parallel with working on programs that meet new demands. Alhamar praised the government's support to the ministry. The Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister announced today the names of 15 successful candidates for the FDPM Fellowship's fourth intake who were chosen from various government entities. The successful candidates will be seconded to the FDPM Fellowship which, through various training programs and initiatives, aims to enhance their skills and provide a strong foundation for their careers in government. The Director General of the FDPM, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, extended his congratulations to the successful candidates, noting that the success of the fellowship is evident in the skills and expertise showcased by previous intakes. He also praised the enthusiastic response that the program received this year, noting that the high number of applicants reflects the program's value in developing the skill set and leadership skills of young government employees in line with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's vision. He went to wish the new intake luck and expressed his hope that the candidates would capitalize on the many opportunities facilitated by the program in order to boost their skill sets and help achieve the their personal goals and ambitions. Al-Bayarq al bayda also known as White Flags, in cooperation with the Labour Market Regulatory Authority and the International Peace Institute in the Middle East and North Africa, held today the Iftar for Peace to serve fosters and members of different communities, ethnic groups, religious and nationalities, joined by ambassadors, government officials, dignitaries and religious leaders at the National Evangelical Church in Manama, showing a wonderful example of Bahrain's social coherence and attachment to peace, tolerance and respect with different religions. It stems from the drive of His Majesty the King for dialogue and coexistence between faiths and cultures. And we follow in these footsteps to uh, ensure that in this society, uh, Muslims can have their iftars in a church, a church can organize something like this, civil society international bodies and government bodies can come together in a very casual and a very natural way to uh, celebrate being together, being in Bahrain. A large array of citizens, officials, uh, executives to sit down together and share a very simple and humble iftar to prove that once again there are no hurdles no barricades between civilizations, between religions, between ethnic groups, and between cultures. We make this iftar for peace. We bring all these people, the workers, the people, uh, they are live in Bahrain. Uh, they came uh, by themselves to Bahrain. They doesn't have family here. And we, we won't tell them, you are a part of us.